each other when it comes to music and when it comes to to life uh when it comes to music i think that garrett and i have just kind of developed this relationship where either one of us can start with an idea or a song melody or whatever and we've been working together obviously for quite a while now so since 2008 is when stone Iris yeah stone Iris. Mm. yeah kind of yeah i mean we have been playing together and making music together a bit before yeah. Stone Iris was whatever but I think that in terms of music it just stemmed from um, just getting into music together and like sharing you know, kinds of music that we liked and whatnot. He was older than me, well he's, he still is older. Still, yeah, still, yeah. still yeah. I'm older. <laughs> so yeah, uh, for me uh, he just introduced me to a lot of music and then as we got older it was just the same kind of thing, getting into the same sort of music and we both started it's I find it's cool too being brothers because we can be a little more maybe frank with each other than other band members are so it's kind of a good filter system we do like to write a lot of music but that's mm -hmm. still just the that's still just the tip of it right so that was kind of a trip for me when I started playing with you guys too. we're very blunt yeah. it's kind of a filter system because yeah, I was I was doing my own stuff I guess playing as a sideman with other bands mm -hmm. and my own project and the two other guys I was playing with were uh, like very mild mannered and kind of reserved <laughs> and then uh, we started playing together and so these two aren't reserved is what you're saying no, I'm not, <laughs> no not so much but it's not a bad thing you know I mean at first like it was kind of a shock and thinking oh this is going to last only at a time as long as this is going to last
changed somewhat over the years, right? I mean, there's some reggae influences. Mm -hmm. How do you find that the sound changes, or how does that work? A lot of it has to do with the musicians that we uh, choose to play with uh, at the time of, like, say, the albums that we record. Yeah. Illuminations, we, we put together kind of a, a larger lineup. Um, we had, I think, seven, it was a seven-piece band, and uh, had a, a guest MC featured on that album. and. Uh, there's some hip hop elements to that as well that we kind of wanted to to do, and I mean that lent itself to that kind of thing. And then um, I mean, Silhouettes was kind of more the beginning of our reggae. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was the first time we supple, kind of yeah. took a stab at it. Uh, and I think that, that the bass player we were playing with at the time had something to do with that as well. Yeah, he usually he mm -hmm. opened us up to. Like, we always dug reggae, you know, the, the usual Bob Marley or whatever, but he opened us up to a whole a whole other world of it, which was pretty sweet. I, I think, like, we've, we've openly talked about it, like, whoever you're involved in a group with, it's best if everyone feels like they're contributing and they have a piece in it, because then that's part of their heart going into it. So for us, it just makes the most sense to whoever we're playing with, let, let that influence us. For this next song, I'd like to ask a guest artist up on stage, someone that we have mad respect for. Marlon from Politic Live is going to do the song Hide and Seek with us. Are y'all ready to rock? I'm not 100% convinced. Are y'all ready to rock right now? Off 
with a rhythm, catch all with a minimum, and I do what I can, cause I'm a man. Blast off with a rhythm, catch all with a minimum, and I do what I can, cause I'm the man. Mesmerize, I'm trying to fly. Above the horizon, blind and dark eyes will grim him, blind him. Heaven the Lord reads, the little the reads, the beast of gloves, the best have along. I was a good man, who was a good dude? Two rule for dudes who thought I lose. Whole lose, I seem lose a mad bells, I kill them all, and I push back flowers. Push up daisies, hide and seek. I hold my tongue before I speak. Then like the calm before the storm. From the day that I was born. We like to see it come to life Take it off and do it right Knowing well that it won't last long The rest will die but not the song Mesmerize, I'm trying to fly Catch up with a minute, and I do what I can, cause I'm the man. Bless off with a rhythm, man, the open I hit him, and I do what I can, cause I'm the man. There's more eyes I'm trying to fly. Cheers, cheers. Someone's liking something that you're doing that's gonna inspire you to do it more. So yeah, if, if we get feedback on certain songs or whatever from people, then that makes me just get in that mood where, hey, I'm gonna spend my Friday night trying to write another good song. So they, it, they, not, they not, not just they have shaped us, but like they're the reason that we've shaped us. Yeah, I it's think all about making that connection. Especially like kind of from early, early on, when you start to make like find people who are like you know genuinely like your music or whatever, um, that too kind of pushes it, and I think it gives us gives us more confidence and gets us to say, hey, like people are liking this. This is really what I'm supposed to be doing, and you know, do it more and stuff like that. And at first, I think like from my experiences, when you get when we got really into music, the first step we took was we emulated the people that we really liked, and you do that for a bit and. We did that, and then you start to kind of get into your own stride and develop your own thing is the next step. And when you start getting good feedback on the stuff that you think is really your own, then that that makes that that's that's magic.
when we came to record in Kentucky, that was actually, we'd already gone through Kentucky and the Southern States once before. Mm -hmm. So all the tunes that we'd written that went on to Grand National already were, I'd, I'd have to say, influenced by kind of Southern rock and stuff. And I think you can kind of hear that in, in the album. Uh, but yeah, I think that uh, we, we released two full-length albums last year as well, Grand National being the second one. And I think we actually reserved a lot of those maybe more straight-ahead Southern rock songs for Grand National because we knew we'd be recording it in Louisville, Kentucky. So the engineers, uh, Dave and Jamie, were able to kind of put their, their spin on it, which, which I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, it was just, it was, it was cool being creative like that in a totally new environment. Totally new. I mean, it Thank you. Sorry, okay. To do on okay. Date. Come on. Hey. Hey, yo, what's up, funny baby? I'm gonna tell you some reasons why you wanna date me. First, I can take you anywhere you work. And we can get a discount from every single clerk. Not to mention the benefits and perks. And if you got a pension, a wedding, and a church. But we can wait for the worst comes to worst a year from Monday's our first anniversary. It shows he has thought about price range. Whoa. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. We settled it before. Ignore social so stigma, she'll get the door. <laughs> But I still got my dignity until she admits she really isn't into me. At which point I begin to sing is simply a little song. To me is like, hey, don't you know the when you run away, it drives me crazy. It drives me crazy. Come on, why don't you know? Why don't you know? Cause darling, you're my summer evening, beautiful melody. And here we go, here we go, here we go. Why don't you know? Why don't you know? 
Hey, you, how could you be so careless? All I wanted to do was meet your parents. But you had to release that document. Start me from hanging out on your terrace. It's cool, I don't need to be there. It's just, I'll be honest, I'm awfully embarrassed. The long, the long, the the confidence is dropping. Steady each time your phone number varies. It's doing the girl no favor to leave it entirely up to her. Oh, oh, really? Well, maybe I should drop by her place then. The mailboy told me where she moved to when I paid him. That would be fine. Oh, yeah, Sun Lake then. Gee, thanks, mister. I'll make like the wind. I'll bet you're waiting in the den. So maybe I should let myself in. Come on, babe. Can't see me sitting on the front porch waiting for you. You drove right by. Come on, why don't you know? Why don't you know? Cause, darling, I just want you to know how I feel about you. How I feel about you. Why don't you know? Why don't you know? Hey, can't you see me through the window? They're arresting me right behind my back. Yeah, why don't you know? Why don't you know? Cause darling, I would like you so much more if you love me back. If you love me back, why don't you know? Why don't you know?